so the last time I saw this matchup at a high level was uh, Nico versus Leon. Oh, yeah, it's been Nightmare a minute. Versus, I remember on Smashville. Well, yeah, I think got actually, yeah, actually a year ago, exactly counting um, yeah, since it was uh, last week. But uh, yeah, Nico was able to do well in that matchup, but I don't think he, he won the set. But basically, what happened is one thing that Shulk can abuse outside of like edge guards in this matchup is he can use this shield art during a uh, whirling fortress and uh, switch to the smash art at the last part. So you yeah. can actually punish Bowser for hitting him with that move. Yeah, and coincidentally, shield buff, shield buff, shield art did get buffed recently in this last catch. Where originally, if you had shield art, you kind of went nowhere, but now you kind of get tossed up inside, which is kind of a hidden buff too. Because usually, if you take more damage in shield art, you lose it faster. Very similar to our in that. In that Ooh, rough. Bad recovery from JTJ. Didn't see him uh, flood that earlier in his game, so uh, maybe he needs to warm up a little bit more. It's been a while since he's uh, played. He's definitely been chilling. While Defoe's like just got out of a super close set with Tommy's. Oh my god, that counter. Didn't his vision actually also get buffed as well? Yeah, vision also did get buffed. That's probably why I'm starting to shield players use it more. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah, backer going through bad. all the fire, not caring about any of that. Yeah, Shield Dart, this does make Shulk the heaviest character in the game, especially over Bowser, which is quite amazing. Yeah, that's actually really good pull to have in this matchup. Oh, he's definitely dead to this. Yeah, he's dead. Smash <laughs> Art buff as well, like, or in this case, debuff, <laughs> making him even lighter than usual. Yeah. Think about Smash Art, uh, knockback is increased, but damage percentage is decreased, so. Uh, trying to get the falling up air, unfortunately, unable to find it. Would have been good too, because you can confirm into other falling up airs. But that quick forward smash puts Bowser off the stage into jump bar, trying to catch this man's line. He does so. Big call on that roll. He was charging that up smash for like a quarter of a second. Like, yeah, I dare you to roll into this. Gotta say, very impressed with the uh, Dufo's Shulk. And uh, I don't get impressed with Shulks that much, because <laughs> I see Nico all the time. Oh, you and, I, you and me both, man. You and me both. Ooh. Excellent neutral air. You can confirm it to oh. other neutral airs or forward airs, depending on percents as well. Good use of empty hop there, just to kind of bypass the flamethrower and find another opportunity to get in. This is kind of good about the too, because every time he empty hops or double jumps, he can stall an aerial and then hit JTJ for the shield drop. Yeah, that's kind of how you're supposed to play with Shulk, because if you just attack in the same rhythm, his frame is not good enough to uh, get away with that a lot of times. So you want to just you want to try to mix up the timings that you like use your aerials, especially on shield. Forward tilt, that's a big punish there. But unfortunately, JTJ is on that high one away here. Smash now just activated. Unfortunately, unable to get the punish for the roll. Once again, excellent use of that double jump, stalling on each one. Buster Arc does boom, we'll double the damage here. You know, JTJ is in a really rough spot. Can't afford to make any huge mistakes right now. Most teams will kill from Shulk at this point. Yeah. Okay, he'll take the uh, flying slam while he's in shield art. Won't go flying pretty much anywhere. Oh, he's trying to sell out this stock right now. Got the smash art on deck. What's he doing on stage here with these dash dances? Ooh, he's the parry. Ooh, wow. Never mind. I'm going to say, like, excellent use of back air to up tilt. Just because in that situation, up tilt has such excellent coverage. That, like, it would have definitely called out that jump. Unfortunately, though, like, he went for a full hop, so he was able to get away. But nonetheless, though, Defoe with game one in hands here. Excellent Shulk play all around. Like you said, right, we saw this matchup versus Leon. But now we're seeing it a full year, a little bit more than a year later. And you can see why Shulk is able to power through a character like Bowser. Ready? Yeah, I haven't heard of Dufault before, but really good Shulk player. What information <laughs> do we have on Dufault? Like, where, where's this guy from? Yeah, if anybody's got that info, man, push that, put that in the Twitch chat, man. Let, him, let the casters know. Shout this man out. So you don't see her, her B2. If you don't know Dufault, man, you'll definitely know him after the day, man. You don't see that many Shulks here. 
and MSM Online, especially MSM Online. Excellent on that other forward. I mean, he caught this man right before he can even get the opportunity to attack. attack. Yeah, and he really likes those roll read up smashes at the ledge. JGJ almost gave it to him again. Oh, yeah, big buster combo right there. Doing a good 30%, but oh, catch the roll. Watch out. I like the shield art uh, switch here. He's going to be able to take this flying slam. No big deal. Keeping him alive just as long as he needs to be. But oh, there's that up tilt. JDJ is like no stranger to using that up tilt, man. Yeah, oh. no, no, no. It's, it's got good coverage. It's just the range is so ridiculous, and especially it catches jumps from the ledge. Oh, that clank was so unfortunate for Defoe. Yeah, definitely could have killed that uh, Forest Smash connected. Okay. Forward throw. Nice. Trying to read the landing here. Unfortunately, doesn't get that up there. Sneaks in this back. Oh, wow. Enough. 133 after the Smash Art. Oh, Great no. Recovery. He got lip. Oh, yeah. You'll take it if you're JTJ. You'll eat that up for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But <laughs> his, board, his back air is completely going through a flame breath, unfortunately for him. Still... Huge, huge advantage right now for JTJ. Yeah, so many active frames on that back air just because it has two hits, the startup, and then the initial hit afterwards. The beam itself is, I would say. Yeah, he's excellent use of Battle Swords too, as well. Specifically, as you can see, how each arc is a little switch to. I'm 100% sure if he's in Battle Swords or if he's just manually going through the Nautos at pressing B. But from the books of it, it is Battle Swords. Honestly, Nico never uses it, so I don't even know what Battle Storage even is. Like, Migo just doesn't care about using that ever. Yeah, but it, it, it's a pretty good tech. Well, some Shulks use it, some Shulks don't. But nonetheless, here, JTJ strikes in return here. Yeah, sometimes I'm, I'm like, I myself would like, really difficult to, like, was I dial storage? It kind of looked like it, not too sure. Just because sometimes you do see, like, the fact that you can change hearts manually still or go into the Monado dial. Up to you, whichever you prefer, though. Nonetheless, it's good to see a Shulk out here, but JTJ is still able to put points on the board here. It's now 1-1 apiece here. Game 3. Big decided here, of course. One will lead up to set point, and then the other will have to climb through two games and some possible stage choices on the opponent's favor. We'll see how things go so far here. I want to give a quick shout out here to, to Rad Roach, aka at underscore, I'm sorry, uh, Rad Roach at ultra underscore Anthony underscore. He is the creator of this overlay. Big shout outs for him to remaking the new MSM overlay. Honestly, greatly appreciate for his work. Definitely give him the follow. Going to game three here. This is such a big, like I said, big one here. Let's see if the token get in through, but not enough frames will go through that flamethrower here. Switching up a little bit of the tempo here into speed art. Is eight. That's the thing about speed art, the decreased jump height kind of gives Shulk different opportunities to use that neutral air into neutral air. Of course, shield art. That's, that's an interesting use of shield art too, specifically because he can go to Nair to grab because of how much of his weight is. A start, he's looking for that extra percent. That is a double-edged sword if he's not able to go through enough shield damage though. Oh, he, oh, he took a huge, huge, he took a huge risk with that. Yeah. Charging so long, right in JTJ's face. Oh, he did the shield art switch on the Whirling Forges, but he forced smashed the wrong direction. How close. Oh, we're living though. Yeah, he caught that. He caught that. Yeah, it's oh, oh no. no. Dufoe is just getting some really bad SDs here. <sighs> yeah. And the top for good men. Oh, not a good feel. Not a good feel at all. Oh, and right there, yes. JTJ definitely didn't care about him using the shield art on that up throw combo. He's like, fine, I, I don't care. I don't get the max damage. I'll still take whatever I can get. Yeah. The thing about the foe, though, and Shulk is you can definitely make the comeback within a few couple opportunities of a couple corner carries that Shulk can get. And it's all the matter of the he can go for it. Nice down smash to punish the after effects of Warly Fortress. He's gonna jump over that flamethrower smash. All right, he can get a stop pop. Yes, he does. 
Both these guys taunting after every kill. You love to oh, see no. it. So Defoe's gonna have to do some Ooh. work here. Ooh, the super armor of the down smash. Not even caring about any of that falling aerial from Defoe. Just, yeah, that was just a really hard call out from JTJ. And that stemmed a lot from Defoe's SD. Had he had actually properly got on that edge guard, then this would have been a different outcome here. But JTJ now moved himself up to set point. Yeah. Tough spot for Defoe to be in here, but he says, nonetheless, let's run it back. Game four here, will be JTJ moving on the bracket or will Defoe see himself up a possible chance to push a game five? Once again, still putting a great use of that double jump just because he's able to just bypass and either go through that flamethrower or, as we've seen with Bowser, I'm forcing him to kind of like drop the shield. Man, Foe is super greedy for these four smashes. And uh, I don't know, man, it's been costing him pretty heavily to just whip those moves. Yeah, it's it's a lot of commitment too, specifically just because of like how the startup and the end leg is of both four smash. Here, although 105 there, to 64, okay, can he get the edge guard? No, missed the oh. opportunity. Would have been good though, because it would have set up to attack the situation nonetheless. Catches the down air. Oh, it's the chase. Gotta watch out though. Bowser's very, very scary in these types of situations. If you just messed up <gasps> a little bit. Whip, oh, uh, Ash Shark! Ash Shark gave him extra knockback on that flying slam, dude. The movie's already mm -hmm. strong on its own. Oh my god. Yeah, man, like, I don't want to tell the foe how to live his life, man, but you gotta ease up on that gas pedal. Yeah, he's definitely fishing a little bit too hard. JJ's probably uh, punishing most of the time, but finally gets that up smash the kill. Yeah, back in of neutral air. For those of you guys wondering, neutral air, the, the hitbox does start from behind control. Oh, nice. Using that landing hit of the downer to get some space back on the stage, but... Foe starting to fight back, not really spacing appropriately around that down air from Bowser. He's really got to uh, watch that. Yeah. Oh, this is scary. Okay, he's going to retreat to the ledge here, but Bowser very strong in this position. Luckily, though, he has the buster. He can rack up some percent. Oh, yeah, that's exactly what he needs. Nice. Back to the jump. Sorry, a bit of a correction. When I said Nair, it does not start in behind Bowser. It's not part of it. I just like. Anyways, back to the match here. Crucial 150% here. I do like how the, the foes kind of shuffle. Ooh. Unfortunately, one forward from JTJ on the read enough to take care of it. And we got a taunt war in the set so far. Oh, that Nair just powering through all the flamethrower. Oh, yeah. Buster damage is exactly what you want. Unsafe yep. back there, too. If it had been properly spaced, it would have been totally fine. Yeah, max range back air from Shulk is really, really hard to punish. Especially as Bowser. Yeah. I do like how JTJ is just looking for those small columns. But I understand, like, the phone is running this, like, if it was a Euro beat mix on the track. He knows he's trying to run the mile a minute, and he's kind of catching him for it. That's how he's able to keep up. Oh, left grab. Okay. Nice from the foe here. Gets the point. Nice. Yep, yeah, he's starting to call out JTA's uh, down air habit. Yeah, he's oh, probably gonna look too much. And he it's might too. He almost died because of Smash Art. Oh my god. And the reason why we see JTJ down there is because sometimes we do see the foe kind of stand in place for up tilt or try to go for an upper, but that oh, backslash with extra knockback. We're living, we're living. Yeah, that's Oh, we're not cool. living. The down smash covers so much distance at the ledge. Oh my god. I rarely see that move kill. But he had really good positioning on that. Yeah, good positioning indeed, because for those of you guys who don't know, Backslash does extra knockback if you're able to hit behind your opponent. Hence the name, and that was enough to put Bowser off the stage. And like Stride says, that down smash has such good coverage off the ledge that it was good enough for Defoe to toss it out there and catch JTJ in the directional air dodge. Pushing game five. I mean, I said it, man. Defoe has his foot on the gas pedal, but... 
Looks like he's able to keep a little bit over pace against JTJ. Still, yeah. though, like we saw that down that downer happen from JTJ, and like I said, it was good just because specific scenarios where Defoe tries to go for up air or he tries to go for up tilt, it's enough to kind of call it out. It has. Yo, Defoe took off his shirt. <laughs> <laughs> he's serious. He did. He did. Yeah, he's serious, man. The shirts come off, man. I don't think I've ever seen a Shogme actually play this skin, like, yeah. in a serious match. I think I've only seen this, this uh, skin come out on the Elite Smash. I actually forgot this was even a skin for Shulk. You and me both. The, some people say the gloves are off. Shulk says the shirts are off. Let's see if it helps him close out this Game 5, though. Oh. Oh, man, that's unfortunate. Yeah, yeah, he got really good damage from that f tilt, but, like, he didn't care at all, dude. He immediately just fought back. Said, you don't get any momentum. Yeah, and the thing about being in Buster Art 2 that I would expect from Defoe is because it does enough shield damage, but also enough damage in general to kind of, like, slowly kind of run over Bowser. But, nonetheless, that backer from JTJ kind of gave him the stock lead here. And in Game 5, Defoe's going to need a little bit more than, than just what he has down the board. Oh yeah, JTJ is racking up all the good percent. 81 is actually very close to kill percent. If not, sorry, 124 is definitely kill percent. Uh, Duvo's got to really dig deep right here. Yeah, Bowser can still live at uh, 80 plus, even yeah. with Smack. He has to make sure he gets him off the stage and call out the jump, but it's a matter of doing so here. Smash Art for a little bit of extra knockback here. Can he push a little bit more of an advantage? He's at 124, so he will be called out by that jump. Oh, big call out from JTJ. And he took extra knockback from being in Smash Art. Starting to see Defoe swing wildly here, just trying to get something to work. And JTJ is eating up all these free punishes. Oh, Let me get this. 54%. Oh, another flying slam to boot. Oh, yeah, JTJ is all over Defoe right now. Yeah, he, he told us, man, put the shirt back on, man. Come on. <laughs> Have some okay. for the viewers, man. There's that landing forward smash. That, uh, Four smash to catch the landing again, but he still has a lot to do to bring this back. While well, JTJ just, man, he's just getting everything he wants right now. Throwing out the taunts mid set, doesn't even care. Oh. Ooh. He's up on the gas pedal, Defoe. To bring this back here, 133 here, JTJ is, like, you see that up till two in place, just because he knows, what's he gonna come with an aerial? Oh, missing that forward, uh, that forward air off stage is exactly what he needed to get this stock of a Bowser. He just barely missed timing it. Yeah. Let me though get that Buster Art Force match. Just eighty percent counts right now. It most definitely, and the foe can take the stock here, but it's the comeback that won't really matter. But unfortunately, like I said, JTJ has been going for that up till center stage because where he's coming from, it's the air, and he calls it out. When it mattered the most, JTJ takes us game five, three, two. Yeah.